Hello, this is Dr. William Richardson, and I want to talk to you about how to eliminate illness. How many of you, your loved ones, parents, relatives, friends, pastors, church members, work associates, etc., have to be stricken and or die due to cancer, heart attacks, strokes, high blood pressure, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and so many other preventable and reversible diseases? Friends, I'm going to tell you that if we continue to eat the wrong diet, live unhealthy lifestyles, and not cleanse and detox the body, as well as not guard yourself from environmental pollution, then unfortunately one half of us will die from cardiovascular diseases or heart disease and high blood pressure. One third of us will die from cancer, and the other one sixth will die of complications due to diabetes, Alzheimer's, or other degenerative diseases. It seems that almost everyone is dying or sick from diseases that were practically non-existent 100 years ago. Diseases that are preventable and reversible. Diseases that are man-made due to a perverted diet, lifestyle, and environment. I want us to be very truthful and look at America's shocking, appalling, and shameful health statistics right now. The truth is that the U.S. ranks below other Western nations in many key health indices, including below average life expectancy, poor infant mortality rates, and an epidemic of chronic degenerative diseases. Also, the United States has high cancer rates, especially lung, breast, and prostate cancer, as well as poor cardiovascular health, including heart attacks, strokes, and high blood pressure. We keep hearing the propaganda and hype about the U.S. having the best health care system in the world. Right now, I want you to understand that this is not going to be just another health lecture. You will hear things you've never heard before, and you may hear things that will even shock you. Again, I want to introduce myself. I am Dr. William Richardson. I'm a medical doctor. I am the medical director of the American Clinics for Preventive Medicine. I'm board certified in preventive medicine, and I actually practice internal medicine, family medicine, general medicine, preventive medicine, emergency medicine. And what I really specialize in for over 30 years is preventive, holistic, nutritional medicine and detoxification and life extension medicine at its very best. I am in the business of saving lives, preventing disease, and reversing disease. Our mission at the American Clinics for Preventive Medicine is to reignite, reawaken, and re-energize the community and the world on how to solve the disease epidemic using the natural laws given to us by nature. This lecture, How to Eliminate Illness Through Preventive Medicine, Nutritional Medicine, Holistic Medicine, Integrative Medicine, Complementary Medicine, and the Jid Dishes use of conventional medicine is our very important topic today. Truly, in my medical practice and my healing center, we have seen tumors disappear, cancer go into remission, high blood pressure and heart disease vanish, and diabetes go away. We have also seen cholesterol go normal in four weeks, fibroids and cysts shrink away, surgery being no longer required and many diseases cleared up. We've been fortunate to see hopelessness turn into hopefulness, despair into gladness and thanks, and apparent defeat into victory. I want you to know that we all have the God-given ability to regenerate ourselves, rejuvenate ourselves, and even heal ourselves. Here we have a wonderful patient testimony from Franz Chris, and this gentleman um, was able to reverse uh, prostate cancer. He had 8 out of 12 uh, positive biopsies initially, and then at the end of treatment, 12 out of 12 negative. His prostatic-specific antigen normalized, he lost 48 pounds, and his high blood pressure and cholesterol totally normalized. Our patient here after various treatments including chelation therapy and disease reversal programming, 
um, had uh, amputation that was to be done totally made unnecessary. In other words, she saved her foot from being cut off. Circulation improved and diabetes under control. Another important testimonial uh, demonstrating the reversal of gastric reflux disease and improvement in insomnia, hot flashes, and that chronic fatigue syndrome. And yet here's another fantastic testimonial with a gentleman who was able to wean off of seven medications for heart disease and high blood pressure. This gentleman had three open heart surgeries and was headed for a fourth, but we were able to make that unnecessary by using our disease reversal uh, techniques and chelation therapy in this particular case. We have many other testimonials and studies as well showing uh, decrease in cholesterol, reversal of high blood pressure, and obesity, etc. There's some understanding I would like you to have, and that is that we want to provide you with faith, hope, inspiration, and love for you to appreciate yourself so that you can realize that good health and self-healing is your natural God-given birthright. God, through nature, has given us uh, a tremendous ability to self-heal. And this self-healing mechanism can be demonstrated, say, when we cut ourselves. Uh, the body will send uh, blood vessels to kill any germs with white blood cells and to set up a clot to stop the bleeding by way of the platelets and clotting factors. And then healing takes place. The cut will heal, scab will form, and it will stay on the cut until uh, the skin is healed. And then when the scab falls off, that is an example of self-healing. We also have a natural ability to self-heal from all kinds of diseases. And this self-healing was given to us by what created us is in our genetic coding, it's in our DNA and our RNA. Each of us has self-healing built into our bodies. Let's think of how many of us drive a car out here. Um, many of us live in the Atlanta area and you know a car is very necessary there. If you maintain your car, it will drive better. So we're talking about oil changes, quality gas, change spark plugs, filters, flush the radiator, transmission fluid, all those things are necessary. But the question is, how do we maintain our bodies? And how many of us have been brainwashed and programmed to thinking that we can consume the worst poisons in the world and still have a good body, even if we pray over food? In other words, if we pray over a high fat, high sugar, cancer causing foods, then are we programmed to think that it's not going to harm us because we prayed over it? Well, it's just as ridiculous as praying over a plate of deadly poison and not expecting it to harm us. That's as ridiculous and silly as praying that if we walk over a cliff that it will not harm us. Why, surely if we walk over the cliff, we'll fall and harm ourselves or kill ourselves at the bottom. Let's also look at this issue. How many of us have health insurance? Well, let me tell you something. Health insurance does not ensure good health. It quite often means that you get to see a doctor for five or ten minutes, get drugs, go to a hospital, but it surely won't prevent or reverse this disease epidemic sweeping across our communities, including cancer, heart and artery disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, etc. We have to ask the question, what causes health problems? Well, health problems are caused by improper lifestyle, lack of exercise, sleep deprivation, faulty dietary hazards and habits, uh, environmental pollution, infections, use, misuse and overuse of medications, mineral, vitamin and nutrient deficiencies, and unbalanced emotional and mental states. These contribute majorly. 86% to our health problems. And now we can choose which disease you want. Well, do you want cancer? Do you want hardening of the arteries, high blood pressure, diverticulosis, diabetes, gallbladder cutout? You should see how many people have their gallbladders cut out and appendixes in this country. 
that all comes from preventable causes. Multiple sclerosis, other autoimmune disorders, Alzheimer's, yeast candida, parasites, impotency, osteoporosis, etc., 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 etc. Choose as many diseases as you like. There is literally an unlimited supply and thousands more not even listed. Or you can choose none of those diseases. You can choose great vibrant health and outstanding vitality as well as unparalleled longevity. The choice is, of course, up to you. But if you're eating standard American food, having a standard American lifestyle, you're essentially choosing to be afflicted with America's epidemic of chronic degenerative diseases. However, if you're aware of and practicing preventive holistic principles in your lifestyle, environment, diet, nutrition, exercise, etc., you will have eliminated or at least minimized the major causes of ill health. We can also observe that many times medical doctors are just as sick as their patients. Rich people are just as sick as the poor, and politicians many times are just as sick as the people they govern. Please also consider that medicines essentially are poisons with desirable side effects. Really, medicines should be used temporarily, not the rest of your life that, like this advertised. And you have to understand that our well-being and lifespan can actually be decreased by misuse or overuse of medications. So, be sure to go beyond disease management suppressing symptoms and solve the root causes of your health problems. That's right, medicines are poisons with desirable side effects. They are a multi-trillion dollar industry, a major cause of death and illness. They cause cancer, liver toxicity, immune system dysfunction, as well as decreased libido. Be smart and make the decision to change your lifestyle, diet, environment, and most of all your attitude toward a complete and comprehensive strategy of embracing self-love, self-improvement, and holistic preventive medicine. There are a few questions that we should be asking ourselves. What are the root causes of the Western epidemic of chronic degenerative illnesses? What responsibility do you have for your own quantity and quality of life? And are there really good alternatives to drugs? And of course there are. Is, there really, is it really necessary when I get older that I be on 5, 6, 17, 26, or 30 different medications and have had several major surgeries? Is this necessary? Other questions are what fundamental biological mechanisms cause chronic disease and can these be retarded or reversed? And yes, many times, but the earlier you start, the better and easier. What nutrients and lifestyle factors reduce chronic disease? And what about proper sleep, sex, outlook, exercise, meditation, digestion? How much can these prevent or reverse chronic disease? Also, how can we reduce or eliminate free radical damage that's a formidable contributor to uh, chronic disease. And, uh, of course, that would have to deal with the detoxification of heavy metals via things like chelation therapy. And what role does our toxic environment, stress, immune system deficiencies, and inadequacies play in chronic disease? And the answer is a very big role. So let's see how big business can make big money on the front end, and this is with disease. On the front end, we have TV, movies, media, fast food, junk food, dairy, animal products. You know, all those ads on TV telling you to eat all that fried chicken. They used to have plenty of alcohol and tobacco ads. And then the back end, uh, drug companies, emergency rooms, hospitals, doctors. This is after you get yourself sick. Health insurance, funeral homes, many specialists. A primary tool that I use in my clinic is the disease reversal and prevention program. We reverse disease with this, do lifestyle counseling and health coaching. Remember that our clinic and organizations are here to assist you, empower you, enlighten you, encourage you, and inspire and motivate you as well. Our goal is to put patients on programs to permanently correct health problems. I want to make it so you don't need me anymore. We have 35 plus years of experience and we found that 99.99% of our well-meaning clients make big mistakes regarding their lifestyle, diet, nutrition, environment that seriously costs them their health. Our disease reversal and prevention program goes far beyond mere 
disease management, suppressing symptoms, and crisis intervention. This is actually the most important treatment that we have to offer you because it addresses the 15 root causes of illness. The 15 root causes of illness include chronic constipation and toxic bowel, lack of good exercise internal and external, poor digestion, absorption, and assimilation of our foods, as well as American dietary hazards, lack of live uncooked foods in the diet, lacking enzymes, vitamin, mineral, nutrient deficiencies, and food allergies. To go further with the 15 root causes of illness, we have candida, pathogenic bacteria and parasites, liver weakness, insufficiency, overactivity, or toxicity, poor water drinking habits, environmental pollution, especially heavy metals and organic chemicals, spiritual and psychoneuroimmunology issues, the mind-body connection, adrenal stress syndrome, sleeping dysfunction, and infectious diseases. I want to explain to you that your health depends on your lifestyle, mostly 65%, and environment, 21%. That leaves 14% for genetics, as well as medical care, routine medical care, uh, pertinent uh, hospitalizations, medications, or immunizations that you may take uh, to prevent illness. Therefore, your health mostly depends on the choices you're making about lifestyle and environment, which again makes up 86% of your health. The choices you make from minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day, and year to year. The Disease Reversal and Prevention Program provides you with the tools necessary for self-empowerment. That self-empowerment part means you have to study, educate, enlighten, and experiment, and explore. You have to work at it on a daily basis and Take the time and make the effort to learn and understand how to regenerate, rejuvenate, renew, and heal yourself. Modern medicine and doctors have been giving us just what we want. Fast food medicine, junk food medicine, quick five-minute medicine, convenient medicine, medicine in a bottle. This is a medicine that primarily suppresses symptoms and ignores the root causes of disease temporarily gets you out of a crisis and you may need that at certain times but you have to understand it just manages your disease but never cures it is this the kind of health care you really want our idea is that the disease reversal and prevention program will eliminate and or minimize the use and need for drugs most doctors tell you that you're going to need more drugs for high blood pressure diabetes and at our institutions, uh, we attempt to be the opposite and decrease the use of drugs. If you already know this stuff, why are you still sick? In other words, we have to open ourselves to learn different things and look at things differently. Please don't wait for a medical crisis to appreciate your life. And don't wait until you lose your health to value your life. And as well, please don't wait until you have an incurable or disabling disease to enjoy your life. Don't wait until you have an incurable or disabling disease to take care of your body. Final questions that remain are, how much do you love yourself? And are you willing to make the necessary changes to reverse your disease, prevent disease, and save your own life so that you can continue to do God's will for you on earth? The choice is up to you. Know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Thank you for listening to this presentation. This is Dr. William Richardson of the American Clinics for Preventive Medicine. Please check our website at www.acpm.net. That is www.acpm.net. A C P M dot net. Thank you very much.